Hi everybody, it's Jane, and I'm back. I'm going to show you some fun stuff that I ordered from um, Kylie Koo on uh, Instagram. No, I was going to say Instagram. Um, I ordered it from Etsy, and let me say that again. <laughs> I ordered it from Etsy. <laughs> I bit my tongue when I said Etsy the last time, so it sounded really funny. I love, I, I opened everything because <laughs> I just, I I couldn't wait. I, I did open it on camera, but it was uh, in with that video that I lost. So, um, so I don't have it, but um, I did save the papers because everything was wrapped so pretty and everything had um, uh, a little tag on it. Be, um, one of the papers, even when it was a little gift, it had a little tag like this that said gift. So <laughs> it was so nice. And she gave me a little gift for each item that I bought, not just a little gift with the order. So uh, that was really, really fun. And of course I love this washi and I love the two colors together and um, I will save all this and use it. <laughs> because it's just too fun. Uh, I ordered a journal and tags and she gave me a very nice uh, sent a little thank you note. So pretty, all trimmed, very pretty. That's stamped. And I ordered these uh, tags. So I was very pleased with them. They're nice and they're very stiff. They're very, very sturdy. Really, really pretty. Uh, I love the little mesh on it. I love the sewing. And I am going to have access to a sewing machine on Tuesday. So I'm very excited about that. This is Sunday night. And I'm very excited about that. I'm going to meet up with um, Deb. Um, a, a friend that I met um, through, oh, I can't remember which Facebook group, but she lived nearby and we've met up several times and always had such a good time. So anyway, we're going to the library. Um, we're going to the library in, um, uh, in our meeting place in between uh, our homes and they have what they call an imagination room and in it they have all kinds of things to craft with so one of the things they have is a sewing machine so i'm excited and uh, so anyway i was really pleased to see this and um, these are these are just beautiful um i'm just just thrilled they all are different and every one of them is just so cute I just really, really love them. Um, I'm very excited about the tags. And um, this was a gift that she sent along. In this pretty vellum bag. And these are ATCs. So these are beautiful, very, very beautiful. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the stenciling behind there, but the, um, the, the colored stencils, um, um, the uh, faux stitching, and, uh, and they're on a very nice uh, heavy card. So uh, this, is, this is really pretty. I think they're playing cards that are covered on both sides or at least cut out to be about that. So anyway, that was very much a surprise to get uh, a second little gift with my order. And I just want to keep everything together because <laughs> it's so pretty. This was a gift that she sent, um, I think, for the order of the journal. And it's a nice little pocket. Oh, I didn't even see the back. 
Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? I never even turned it over to see the back of it. Wow, I love that. Uh, this is a nice little pocket. And she sent me another tag, which was really fun. That was a, a little surprise. And then these really pretty index cards. Aren't those fun? These are great journal cards. These are just the prettiest little journal cards and I'm very excited. I'm going to put them in my my vintage um, journal. And I definitely want to keep these. Um, I'm, I may keep these separate from this. Wow, that is just so cute. And I just love that washi tape. That's just so pretty. So anyway, um, these are things that I, uh, they, this is a gift because I did order one of her journals. And this is the journal. It's just very, very pretty. It looks to be like, um, like a handmade paper. <clears throat> and she has put a nice tie on here. Just so pretty. And I love the extra stitching and the lace on the uh, spine. And this is what the little journal looks like on the inside. Got nice tags. I'm just, I'm uh, just thrilled. I really didn't even know what was going to come with it. And look at that. And I'm sure that every journal that she does has a little bit of uh, different ephemera in it. But I am thrilled with my ephemera that she sent me. A little coffee staining or tea stained. I love that. And then these are all tea stain papers, very crinkly, nice sound to them, nice fold. Vintage pictures. This is a home oak tree. And acorns from the turkey oak. <laughs> I just, I love that. Cute tag in here and pretty, pretty colored paper with uh, tea staining in the inside, old book pages, so, so pretty. I just, um, I just love this journal. More fun stuff, look. And I like how she stapled that. That's fabric. And this is, I just bought some of, I just bought some of this. So it's fun to see how she used it. Gives me some inspiration. Um, a pretty little envelope that's tea stained and um, stamped. And a cute stamp. more book pages and vintage pictures this is the center it's a uh, one um it's a one um gosh let me think it's a one uh, i can't think of the word pretty 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 and I think that's, this is stamping. Some extra pages so that I can, um, extra pieces of that so that I can make tags and envelopes. This gives you so much that you can do and such a good basis for starting out. Love, love this journal. 
The book is a seashore drama. I love that. This book is The Chord. Now, I don't know if it's the same book. or if it's different books and those are chapter names or if it's the same book and those are just chapter names. So I don't know. Love this pretty paper. This so, so gorgeous. Fruit of the Beech Tree. So the theme really on these pictures are all trees. And uh, that, I love the unity. Um, the, the whole book is so well put together and just has such a nice theme. Uh, everything goes together in another journal card. I just feel like a, um, an embarrassment of riches with all these journal cards. I love them. And then she gave me a little journal in the back. So that was a nice surprise very nice surprise very nice pocket in the back and then she has um made these little eyelets i just i bought one of these and i have misplaced it i don't even know what happened to it um because i love how that looks and then you turn this around and this comes around and then it ties again so, I mean, everything is beautifully made, beautifully put together, well thought out, uh, nicely themed, and um, special gifts. I mean, it's just, um, uh, it, I was just so happy that I had um, ordered from Kylie. And I'll leave, uh, I'll leave a um, link to her uh, page, to her Etsy uh, page. Etsy store um, at, in my um, in the box down below <laughs> whatever you call that box but I I've been very anxious to show you this and I have been so busy uh, I've had it a couple days I've been so busy I haven't been able to do a video uh, for this because I had some other ones I had to do now I thought also today I would take some time and show you um, some of you have already seen all the cards because you're following my Instagram but um, I just thought I'd take the time to flip through and show you my iCAD so far since we're right in the middle today is June 30th and I finished one month out of the two. So yay for me, I'm very happy. And I have had uh, a lot of fun doing this. And one thing I like about these kind of challenges is it really gets me to being very specific and goal oriented in, uh, in my art. Sometimes I tend to drift and I don't, uh, do, don't do much, I don't do anything different. I just, uh, I spend a lot of time gluing and cutting out and that kind of thing, but I don't really do anything different. So with the iCAD, I try to incorporate some different techniques that I have been seeing. Uh, this one I did a video of, I think, um, already, where I bought that stamp at a, at, a, at a thrift store and I colored it that way and I thought, oh, I used the pastels uh, to color it and um i thought this was this was a great first page uh i don't have a cover yet i have i i have uh there's a back it's like a shiny uh plastic back cover and front cover and um i don't think it will take any kind of paint or gluing until i sand it and i don't have any sandpaper so I keep meaning to ask my son to bring me some sandpaper and I keep forgetting. And I may have some around here, but I um, I have some in my Florida art boxes, which I haven't gotten into yet. So I have so much art stuff here. I haven't even opened my Florida boxes. So anyway, so that was day one. And then day two, um, it's okay to be me. 
And uh, this background here is something I doodled, um, oh, a long time ago. And this has been kicking around, never put it in anything. And I thought, well, I'll use that for a background because that's kind of me. And uh, I didn't want to make it too bulky, so I took out the second row of flowers and just put a little butterfly in the middle. And um, this was uh, this was a picture that I uh, painted, and I thought I would be doing that often this month, and I didn't. I have only painted one, so maybe in July I'll do some more faces for my eye cats. Um, anything postage or mail related always is of interest to me. And uh, so I thought this was uh, this was really cute. I really liked it. And I liked having him sit on the postage stamps. And he's got his arm up around the big circle. So I thought uh, of the postmark. And I thought, <laughs> that worked out really cute. I really like that one. And that was day four. Um, this mermaid um, was... Uh, Something I just cut out of a magazine. I loved it. And I added my own fish and some bubbles and uh, different things. Um, some seaside washi tape along the bottom. And yeah, it just, uh, this just turned out really, really fun. This is, um, if cats could talk, they wouldn't. And that's just how contrary cats are. <laughs> <laughs> but I had fun. Uh, this is stamped. Uh, the last one was a collage, and this is stamped. And uh, I think I used my, um, um, oh, what do you call those? Um, gelato. Gelatos. Uh, day five, I used my stickler shiny stuff. Um, and this says, meow is like aloha. It can mean anything. <laughs> so that's kind of a cat. And I did make his eyes kind of shiny too. I don't know if you can see that. I had fun with that one. Two cat ones in a row though. The road trip one I think I've uh, talked about a lot. <laughs> uh, my sister really, really liked it. And uh, she... Um, she wanted to do wanted me to do her one with trailers so i did one with trailers and do i still have it up here oh i lost it no i do have it i did one for her um vacation route 66 uh with the trailers so um she's spending the the summer uh, on the road this summer and uh, I did put get your kicks on route 66 the same as I did here Roy Rogers and Dale Evans um, loved this I found an old brochure way back in um, 19, 1980 I think we went or 1978 or 79 we went to, uh, drove to California with the kids and um, stopped at the Roy Rogers Dale Evans Museum. And <laughs> it was really, really fun. Um, and then we went on to my sister's house where we had a get together with my uncle. And, and he was telling me that, um, that he and Roy uh, Rogers were uh, friends. My uncle produced, uh, was a radio producer back during the war and um, made a lot of contacts and knew a lot of uh, celebrities um, through radio and which he kept up with over the years and Roy Rogers was one of those friends that he had that he stayed friends with for many years um, which I knew he knew a lot of celebrities but I didn't know he knew Roy Rogers and I used to watch that um, Roy Rogers show every week and I I mean uh, Saturday mornings I think it was on and it was just as I mean I loved the Roy Rogers show day 11's Queen of the West
this um, was kind of simple. I used my glitter pens and I colored uh, colored that, made a little, added a little bit to it. Make your life glitter, and um, just kind of uh, I just kind of something. It actually took me longer to do than most of them, but it, it looks a little more simple than than um, than all the rest of them. Uh, this is the vintage page, and um, I think I I um, this is the kind of stickers and things like that my mom always really liked. And uh, my sister said it reminds me of, reminds her of my mom, of our mom. And uh, I think uh, now every time I look at it, it reminds me of my mom too. So I really like that. And that was just something fun to do uh, with just stickers and kind of make a design. I added a little bit down here. I uh, probably could have left that off. <laughs> I, had to, I had to build up something because this page kept sticking to it. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, um, I don't know if you can see the, um, the tree there and the moon shining through it and the city in the background and the stars and just the vastness of the night. And it just kind of takes my breath away. So I titled that Barely Breathing really like that but it's very subtle this one was fun a word of praise is never wasted and that can mean anything you want um, um, but I take it um, for a word when you praise God it's never wasted words or wasted thoughts This one was one of those, now I can't think of the word, I, <laughs> I can't think of what it is, uh, grandmotherly wisdom, um, when, oh, oh, what do you call it, when you gather all those things up together, um, maybe when I edit, I will think of it and I'll, it'll pop up on your screen. Uh, but I wrote down grandmotherly wisdom when traveling through life and finding it bizarre at times. Remember that bits and pieces work together to make a new whole. Until then, they are nonsense and may be tossed away if one isn't mindful and patient. So I just thought I'd just throw in something. <laughs> I just throw that in there um, and I, th I think those are wise words from my heart that's something I wrote I made that I wrote that from my heart I didn't find that quote uh, the next day um, quilt a conversation and I think that um, that was fun that uh, was part of the page that I did this from and it was an advertisement about a quilting convention but I thought quilt a conversation is an interesting thought because really a conversation is quilted and poked with all kinds of little interjections and ideas and exclamations and um, I, I really like that so I added some uh, some vintage quilts to the picture of all these uh, other ones, and I loved this so, little rainbow behind it, rainbow of threads. I keep wanting to look at it myself. <laughs> I keep forgetting to leave it down for you to see. Um, next day, enjoy the moment, and just any time any just any little fun moment just remember to enjoy those little special insignificant times where you share a laugh with a friend or you share a, um, a secret or you share a story when I count my blessings I count you twice and um, I was um, uh, there are several people that uh, of course I'm thinking of and um, my children, my grandkids, there's just a lot of people, my sisters, 
there's a lot of people I'm thinking of, my cousins. Um, there are so many people in my life that uh, when I count my blessings, I count them twice. I feel very fortunate to have a lot of great people in my life. This was something different. Um, I saw this um, somewhere where um, there was a man who doodles in magazines. He just thinks that's just the best thing since sliced bread. He just goes to a magazine and he draws it. He's a he's a gra he's an artist uh, for a living, and he course doodles really fast and much nicer than mine. But I thought well, I'll try and doodle in a magazine. And I had this little girl hiding behind this cake, and and I put a, a bird on it and a palm tree, and I thought, oh, that sounds looks like Margaritaville, and so that's how that all evolved. <laughs> and then this was another um, different technique I I saw online, and um, I thought, oh, that's interesting. And of course, hers was so much nicer, but. Um, she had well she used um old pa old paper with just text on it which was uh very cute and um but wherever the paper was she used the black lines and when she went off into the background she is switched over to the white and i thought oh i love how that looks so um so i tried that and that's that was my attempt and that was day 19 and then on another video I saw where they were using the um, tissue paper and pictures and then brushing it with uh, with a little um, gesso and it just looks so fun now they did theirs a little bit differently they just tore some for this corner and tore some for that corner and um, I, I did that, but it all kind of blends in with my background tissue paper because my background tissue paper had writing on it and you can kind of see it through the other. So it kind of all looks like one. Theirs had more of a definition, but I still really like it. And I'm gonna do some more of that because I it was very quick, very easy and very effective. But I don't have a lot of uh, tissue paper with real pretty florals on it. So, uh, or napkins, this was napkins, this is tissue paper in the background, um, uh, a magazine quote, and gesso. So anyway, that's how that went. And then these, um, I got behind and I thought I've got to do something and I've got to do it really quick. And you know what I have, let me see if I've, Got them handy, my little page starters. Uh, so I had little page starters and um, I used the page starters to do these four really pretty quickly in one day. And so that was day 21. My Vespa picture, postage, that was day 22. This was, um, I love this. I love that glitter tape. I just love it. And uh, it's very overwhelming in this one, but I just loved it. And that was day three with one of the page starters. And this had a page starter on it. Um, and a page starter is, okay, here they are. Now, I'm just gonna move this to the side a little bit and let you see some of the page starters that I've made. And I've, I have a lot of old, uh, I have a lot of a uh, stack of scrapbook paper and things that I've cut out of magazines that I just think are fun. So I just put something on here and made some page starters so that when faced with a blank page, you can put down a page starter like this and then build around it. And that kind of gets you kind of going. Sometimes it's just so hard to to um, um, to find something to start with. And this way, I have a number of page starters that are a little bit different um, um, 
but it it gives me kind of uh, an incentive. You know, you rock. Now that's that's going to have a whole different feel than uh, wishes or something like this or something like this one, little hello. But you can just build your page around a page starter. And um, I, I've, um, I had a lot of fun making these. I spent a whole evening making a bunch of page starters. <laughs> I drew a little ladybug in there. And, uh, you know, they're, they're just a little bit different and just a little bit fun for me. I started with this one. Um, and I thought, oh, I just love how that was. I was going to put it in for that, and I wanted to do another one, I wanted to do another one, and I wanted to do another one. So I have a whole bunch of them, and um, there's like one for Christmas. But it just kind of helps bridge that gap between um, <clears throat> between looking at a blank page and coming up with how you're going to start out. You've got something already ready to start out. This one's kind of big. Um, it's a vintage book from 1932 and I was afraid that I, I didn't wasn't getting it in a book fast enough and that's how I kind of started with the page starters. Uh, I thought I'm just going to glue that on some paper so so I don't ruin this page, ruin this picture. And uh, see I think I've got, uh, I picked up a bunch of pieces at the um, thrift store. Here it is right here. This is how fragile they were. This is the only one that was a whole piece from this book. And this is how fragile it is. It was just torn. But um, I looked up the book. I found the book, and it's called um, uh, Ragdoll Sue, I think. Ragdoll uh, something. And because um, I thought it was a Raggedy Ann and Andy book, like a a vintage one, an early one, but no, it's, it's Ragdoll, so it was like 1939 they were published. Here's a piece. But this is the only whole picture, but I don't have a book big enough to use the whole picture, and I really don't want to, to cut it up, but the rest of the piece, it was in pieces, pieces that I, I got uh, from the book that were just in the, in the bins, and I just, any little piece I could find, I picked up and uh, I have that. And you know how you do, if you don't have the whole thing and you're building a page, you'll put something here so that, um, you know, it doesn't look like that you don't have all of it. You put something there or, you know, something that is like that so that you don't really see that, that, that there's missing a section. So, um, that's how that's how you use them anyway but that's that's my page starters and I have just I I have had more fun with the page starters I have more fun making the page starters because there's no pressure to do a, a full spread you're just throwing um, throwing pictures down that you've picked out or cut out and um, on some pattern paper that kind of blends. Anyway, that's my page starters. So these last four, let me just go back real quick, these last four were from page starters and I thought that they made very nice. This one <laughs> was quite big, there's not too much of the, the background, but you know, um, they made great iCads. So. So I was really happy, and I had to do four in one night, so that was that was pretty fun. And I got a little comedy going here. Um, this one has some glitter on it as well, which doesn't show up in the picture that I posted of it. But um, and I didn't cover it all. I thought, well, we'll let those be kind of a clouds background. And I drew a little telephone pole, a little crooked, but. Hey, 
that's how I do that's how I roll um, and just made a little funny from the I didn't realize when I was putting these on here or when I was cutting them out that they were all facing one way except one <laughs> so uh, so that uh, that kind of evolved naturally that little funny thing and uh, this is some Disney tissue paper that I got um, when I ordered something from um, from Disney and they had a, they, it came all wrapped up in tissue and so I was really happy with that loved the pattern loved all the silhouettes on there um, it had little stars on there so every star I put um, a little bit of this um, what do you call it this is um, they're called stickles and I've had these for a long time these just last forever I have to keep making sure they stay open and dry not get dried up uh, added a little a fabric ribbon and some stars and um, for some reason it stayed kind of uh, it stayed kind of plain but um, but I, I'm happy with it. It reminds me very much of um, going to Disney um, and spending time there. Um, this is not anybody I know. I just saw her picture in a magazine and I just thought that was so cute. She looks like she thinks she's hot stuff. Big shot. That's how kids are. And um, that turned out fun. That actually wasn't the page starter on that one but I just built it similar to that. Dirty Rotten Scoundrel, a little, another little funny funny, and I had fun with that. Um, did some marks on uh, some acrylic uh, blending of colors, some torn paper. This is um, a tribute to Bob Ross. I love to watch Bob Ross. I tried to paint like Bob Ross. Could not do it. Could not do it. And that's iCAD number 29. And then today's iCAD, Thinking of You. And again, this is a napkin background. Uh, just some, um, I'm always cutting out some edges. And um, I just love the colors. Just seemed very very fun and I haven't signed it yet so here let me grab a pencil and I'll sign that for you for me I had number 30 halfway through I'm so excited uh, June 30th 2019 and then my signature that I made it and I love this little um, little ring I, I picked this up at the thrift store and I wasn't going to get it because I didn't have I didn't have any need for any more um, for any more uh, index cards because I have plenty of index cards and I thought that's silly it's heavy um, what does it weigh? It probably weighs, oh, 10 ounces, so it would be about, um, and that's with all the extra glue and stuff like that on it, so it's probably weighed maybe, um, it was only going to be 50 cents, and I thought, I really want those rings, so I went ahead and got it, and I was so glad I did, because this is perfect for iCAD. Um, but look, look how thick it's getting. Uh, I'm going to probably have to take out these little dividers. These are, um, again, these um, thicker pages. I'll take those out. and uh, But I will have a very nice, I'll make a nice cover for this. And that's going to be my, my summer project is ICAD. So anyway, so I, I'm having fun with that. So that's what I was going to show you. And um, I'm done. So thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. 
I just love to just hang out with you guys. I love to share what I'm doing. Um, I think I, I like sharing <laughs> almost better than I like working on camera. Working on camera is a little, sometimes a little stressful for me um, because I don't know how it's going to turn out and I keep reminding myself. It's so silly. I keep reminding myself I don't have to publish it if it doesn't turn out. Uh, but I do usually anyway. Even if it doesn't turn out what I'm thinking, I still publish it. But anyway, this is my iCAD. And um, um, I have one more month to do. So there's 30 days in June, 31 in July. And so it's 61 iCADs for the uh, challenge. So thanks for watching. If, um, if you want to subscribe, just click that little button and I, I sure would appreciate it. It's very helpful. Um, very, I'm getting very, very um, excited to be in the 900s and uh, I, my goal is I'd like to have a thousand subscribers. So it's just so helpful when you, when you subscribe. It's so helpful when you hit the like button it shows YouTube that things are happening, things are happening in my uh, neck of the woods. So uh, it's really helpful. If, if, you, if you enjoy the video, be sure and hit that like button and um, just a little comment. Loved it, had fun, watched today. Um, thanks for sharing <laughs> anything, anything you want to just say. I, I sure appreciate all your little comments, and I do answer every one. So, um, if you have any questions, that's a good place to put them, because since I answer every, I respond to every comment, a question will always get answered. So, so uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>